Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video we will be going through, we will be introducing the week three team activity. Okay, so it says for this assignment you will practice basic form handling in PHP. Uh, everyone should read the weekly preparation material. Okay, this is a huge part. You'll be able to use some of that stuff that you saw in the readings in this assignment. Um, so please read that and have that available while you're coding this. Uh, complete the following assignment as a team. Okay, so one person is going to be the main driver. This should shift from week to week, and uh, everyone will collaborate and work on that piece of code. Um, but once the solution is working, make sure that everyone on the team gets a copy of it, and everyone successfully deploy deploys that to their individual Heroku accounts. Okay, all right. So what are we doing? Uh, create an HTML form that posts data to a PHP form, which handles the submission, processes the data, and reports the results. Okay, so here is my this is Visual Studio Code open here uh, what I would do is come into come on over here and make a new folder for week three. Oh man that's awful yeah it's better and then once you're in there go ahead and make a new file and you can just name this index.php okay and this is kind of be where you start if you want if you want to make a separate directory for your team assignment that's fine um, but then I would also um, I have a, a template PHP file that I use um, so I would copy this and paste it over here to kind of start off this assignment. And it already has like Bootstrap and, and jQuery and, and my regular styles all in here. Okay, and then it also has a spot for me to update um, this week X with the CSS file and the JavaScript file. So I'd want to create those so that that's not throwing errors for me. Um, and then it's also, as you can see, it's also referencing my header and footer from these shared files. Okay, um, so this is my template that I'll, that I'll use to start up this one. And then it says create an HTML form that contains the following components. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that next. So I went ahead and went to bootstrap, uh, getbootstrap.com, and I looked up forms. I actually just Googled bootstrap forms, uh, and I found a bunch of really helpful stuff. Okay, uh, that'll help my styling look really nice right out of the box. And I went ahead, and in here I, I put some of these divs for the radio buttons that we were required to make, and then also a couple of inputs for like name and email, and then running that, um, that that's what it looks like, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next part. It says create a PHP script to handle this form, so that when the form is submitted, it captures the form data and produces a web page that displays this, all right? So let's go ahead and create that PHP form. Then moving forward, you wanna, look up how we created these forms throughout this week uh, to be able to create a PHP form, okay? But you will have a separate PHP file. I, I did give you a, a little hint right here, how I have this form, action student get.php, and then a post method there. So then as soon as uh, the submit button gets pressed or gets clicked um, in there, then it'll jump over to the student get file. Okay, and then you'll be able to accept, um, you know, these inputs and, and process that. Okay, um, let's see what else you guys are going to need to kind of get started. Um, and then add to your form a checkbox list for the continents the user has visited with the following options. Okay, so checkbox looks, list, I would go ahead and come in here and, uh, you know, see how they did checkboxes. Uh, that might be helpful. And then modify your PHP to read and display that list. Okay, um, and for that, you know, I had to do a little bit of Googling to figure out how to get that list um, into a, a usable form uh, in, in my PHP page. So, um, but if you have any questions throughout this week, just let me know while you're working on this. But I hope that this video has been helpful for, for at least getting you started.